Namaste everyone, hope you all had a great weekend and made good use of the time you sit at home doing something productive. I've been getting a lot of uh, texts and um, messages on my inbox regarding what someone needs to do for the next class, someone who wants to um, improve their core strength. There are people asking me about Surya Namaskaram which I will be doing shortly. Uh, but for today let's address the core strength or tummy tightening uh, practices. Well the one thing that I have to tell before we start the class is there is no fast rule for any any problem that you have and the one thing that we need to learn to do is to love and appreciate our body as it is so it can de it depends on what type of body personality you are but the whole objective of doing this is being healthy and being able to see yourself with a beautiful smile on your face all right so ready for some tummy tightening or core uh, strengthening practices let's do it together all right let's start Put out your feet, breathe in and out. This is just a warm up, we did this earlier. And out, breathe in, each time leaning forward a bit more, breathe in and out, breathe in and out, breathe in and out. All right, as we sit in Baddha Konas, now let's just do a little bit of a shoulder and neck movement. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. Let's to loosen up our neck. Let's just go from side to side. One, two, one, two down press your chin to your chest and up breathe out come down and up breathe out and up all right now some fluttering one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten breathe in Go down as long as your back stays straight. If you can't keep your back straight any longer, pause. Wait there. And if you can keep going, enjoy that beautiful stretch you feel at the back, your lower back especially. You shouldn't feel any strain on your back as you go down. You will still feel some stretch in your groin region and your inner thighs. That is all right. You may feel a bit of strain on your um, knee that is all right just keep coming down keep coming down as much as you can try and see if you can sink in your forehead into the ground breathe in and slowly come up all right pull your legs in hug it tight tuck your head in stay there for a few seconds and we are ready all right, so now we promise ourselves not to put our feet down, raised feet. That's easy, isn't it? All right, now the challenge is to breathe in and out. That's simple, isn't it? Let's do it together. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and place your hands on the floor. Breathe in and out. Breathe in out try stretching your legs out further if you can and out in and out breathe in and out breathe in and out let's give it a number one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten we go back to eleven stay there let's give it a count ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one in and out ten nine eight 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. If you still have your feet up, well done. We breathe in, just pull it in, and slowly lower your legs. All right, that wasn't very hard, was it? All right, now moving on to the next part. Gently go down on your mats. We're just going to lift one leg after the other, which is alternate leg lifting. To do this, if you feel a lot of strain on your lower back, please feel free to place your palms under your buttocks. And if you're all right the other way, let's put it just flat on the ground. We'll start off with our right leg, breathing in, stretching it up while trying not to bend your knee. And out. Breathe in, lift your leg up and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. That's easy, isn't it? Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Now, let's try and keep both the legs and now we lower one leg after the other. One and two. Try not to put it down. One and two. One and two. One and two. And now we swing our legs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, keep going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Bring it all up to a 90 degree. Bend your legs at the knee. Gently place it on the floor and slide it all the way down. Observe your lower abdomen. Feel those muscles over there. You feel the tightened up core a bit. Just try and see if you can feel it at your lower abdomen. Now, let's place our feet on the ground and we gently try and come up a bit. All right, now if you want to put your hands behind your head, that's fine. If you don't want to do that and instead Hug yourself, that's also great. Let's just try a little bit of this. Breathing in, one, two. Breathe in and come up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Another five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Gently lower yourself and enjoy in Shavasana as you observe your entire abdominal region. Just observe the muscles relaxing after this. All right, now with the support of your elbows, push your elbow into the ground and slowly sit up like that. Now we're going to pull our legs in, all the way in and push it out. One, two, three, when you breathe out, pull your knees in. When you breathe in, stretch it out. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 
Hold it there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Breathe in and drop it down. Good job. Alright, if you want to do a Shavasana right now, just relax, observe. You might feel a little bit of a strain on your neck if you're holding a lot of pressure on your neck. Try not to do that. The pressure has to come from your abdomen. You have to use your abdominal muscles, not your neck muscles and strain it to come up. Use your abdominal muscles to come up. All right, now we come back again. This time, sitting up. We're going to breathe in, spread our arms out wide, strength, stretch our legs out, breathe out and close it in. We'll do that together. Breathing in, stretching your arms out, pushing your legs out, breathing out and coming in. Breathe in and out. Is that easy? In and out. In and out. In and out. Now let's do that with a count. One, two, three. Here we go. Breathe in, out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can do another five. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and we're going to hold there, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Breathe in, pull it up. Place your feet on the ground, hug your legs, and pull in your head. Relax. That was super fun, wasn't it? All right, now we try yet another one. Here, we lie down. Slowly lift your feet up, making sure both your knees are in the same line, which means don't do this or this. Try and keep both your knees together in the same line. And now we're going to use the support of this leg that's high up in the air. And you're going to try and come up all the way. All right, so you come up, breathing in. You relax as you breathe out. I'll show you once. We breathe in, hold on to your leg and come up and breathe out and slide back you ready let's do it together breathe in one now if you can't hold on to your feet hold here and slide down two and down three and down, four, and down, five, six, <laughs> and down, six, and down, seven, and down, eight, and down, just two more, nine, and down, ten, and stay there, breathe normally, stay. And gently place your feet on the ground, go back. Now let's do it with the other leg. Starting by lifting your leg, keeping both your knees in the same line. Do not lift it too high, nor too low, just the perfect spot. Ready? We breathe in and come up. All right, guys, let's do it. Breathe in 
and out. One, two, three, four, Are you doing it with me? Don't give up. Five. Down. Six. Down. Seven. Down. Eight. Down. Nine. Down. And ten. Hold, stay. Smile makes it easy. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your leg back. And that's pretty much it. Now let's get into the very famous plank. Or we call it the Chaturanga Dandasana. All right, to get into the plank, you need to be on the floor. This is like an the Bhujangasana. And from here, we are going to come up on all our fours, making a straight line of our entire body with just the weight handled by the toes and your palms. Let's do it. Put your hands up. We are now in Bhujangasana, from Bhujangasana, you stretch onto your foes, put your toes on the ground, lift your knees off the ground and stay. Breathe normally, please try not to hold your breath as you stay there. It's very essential that we keep breathing as you stay there. See if you can feel your core muscles, you shouldn't feel any strain on your back. If you do this or if you do this, you'll feel a lot of strain on your back. So try and keep your back as straight as you can. So no lifting your bum up or bringing your hip down. Just the perfect spot. And when you're there, you feel your core engage. Stay there, smile, look forward and say, yes, I can do this. Who's going to count for me? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. On your knees, relax in Shishankasana. See if you can't hold it for too long. Try once, go down. Try another time, go down. Each time promising yourself that you will be a better version of yourself. Now, from Apurna Chaturanga Dandasana, we'll be coming into resting on our elbows. And as we do that, let's come onto our toes, stretch it out. Again, not too high, not too low, just the perfect space. Look forward, stay. Try and make sure that your upper arm is perpendicular to the ground, not to swaying. I was going to count 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. So if you can't hold it there, you want to go down, go down. All right, but come back again and then try again. When you want to rest, go down. But don't give up every time you feel, oh no, I can't do it. I'm sure you can push yourself a little more than what you just think you can and the body will adapt to it. So try and push every time you feel you're going to give up, say another five more seconds and it does happen. It is very essential to work out every, every day or at least five days a week if you want to see any results. And understanding and utilizing your core is so important. Not just to uh, 
make sure you have a flat tummy but also because having a good core or strengthened core helps you unleash energy and power from your core muscles and do doing things from your core makes you so centered so try and utilize the core muscles as much as you can just as we did today um, shall we do a bit more a few more uh, workouts for the core muscles let's do this now back on the mat this is going to be simple I know you're gonna love it try keeping your knees perpendicular to the ground make sure there is a fine space under your back not completely on the floor because if you go like this you're again lifting your back off try and place your hip on the ground allowing a hand space under your back and now raise it raise your legs put your hands out and let's try stretching one two three four five six seven that's easy isn't it eight nine and ten now we start pushing out our leg make sure that when you keep your legs like this it is right there and not here because if you do this you're not engaging your uh, abdominal muscles anymore so if you hold it here that's when you feel the engagement in your lower abdomen so I want you to do that and not this so try and keep your knees as straight as possible and looking towards the ceiling now from here we're going to stretch out and start cycling again the same thing applies do not have to pull your leg in you just have to stay there and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it's about stretching your leg out as much as you can all right now the second version where you pull your knee in all right when you pull your knee in let's pull our head up as well now you go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten another ten one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten who is not doing with me and who is watching and resting out there I want everyone out there to practice along with me all right uh, so that was about working out your core hope you enjoyed that workout it is essential to unwind and relax after every workout so let's just unwind by going back into shavasana today's class will end in shavasana and i know you'll love it all right so to lie down in shavasana keep your legs slightly apart and sink into the mat palms facing upwards not touching your body i want you to take a deep breath in relax as you breathe out ensure that you feel your abdomen and pull your abdominal muscles up as you breathe in and sink in as you breathe out breathe in and out in and out Just observe your body from the toes to the head so let's start with your toes just observe your toes relax your toes relax the ball of your feet relax the arch of your feet relax your heels and your ankles relax your shin your calf your kneecap your inner thigh outer upper and lower thigh muscles relax your buttocks region relax your pelvic region relax your fingers your wrist your arm your 
elbow relax your abdominal muscles breathe in fill your chest up with air and breathe out and relax your chest muscles relax your shoulder muscles your neck region see your facial muscles and observe your face as you lie down there with eyes closed i want you to try and see if you can see your face as you're lying there on your mat now very slowly bring both your legs together without any jerky movement do anything that can help you to sit up slowly turn to one side or the other make sure there's no jerky movement in your body very light and simple once you're in a seated position gently rub your palms and place it on your face slowly pull your palms out look into your palms have a beautiful smile on your face gently open your eyes and look at your palms i'm sure you're ready to face a great week ahead good luck practicing and goodbye